guys, it's uh, Malika, and I um, wanted to share with you on Life with Leaks some of the information that I've kind of talked a little bit in detail um, on my Instagram page. Um, I realized that although I showed you the results of the um, Baca skin cleaning solution, I never really showed you the ingredients. I don't recall doing that, so I'm going to do that today. Um, before we get started on um, how I make it, I wanted to share with you some of the stuff that I put in it. Um, a lot of you are familiar with some of the stuff that I use on a consistent basis and a lot of my other um, drinks, um, my liquids of vitality that I uh, learned from uh, Dr. Kassar. So the company that I get my products from is called um, Earth Shift Products. Um, I do like them um, specifically because the sourcing is revealed. I think it's important that um, we understand that every all products are not created equal. And so you can buy something, but it, not, it can be contaminated. It can come from areas that um, are not uh, the process in which they uh, derive. Those supplements are not pure. And so I really like when a company um, shares with the consumers where they're getting their um, product from. So one of the first things that is in um, my drinks and um, on my skin cleaning solution would be the magnesium. Now I know you've probably heard um, in conversations or in re read somewhere that magnesium is deficient. All of us are deficient. About 80% of us are deficient in magnesium. So this is what I use. It's, it's concentrated. I don't know if you can read it, it's probably backwards but it's a concentrated um, magnesium with um, trace minerals. Um, this is from Earthshift Products. Uh, as you can see, um, I've had this for some time now. I don't even, oh, I can show you the back where it is. So it's recommended 10 to 20 drops per um, drink or externally in whatever mixture you're using. This can be taken internally and externally. Um, some of the minerals, ionic sea minerals, would be calcium, iron, copper, zinc, phosphorus, iodine, there's lots of other trace minerals in this magnesium. Um, and so if you want to look it up, you can go to Earthshift Products and check this out. I'm not promoting, I'm not getting paid for these things, but this is what I use. Um, the body needs magnesium to be able to um, have muscle contraction, nerve function, um, cardiovascular health, protein, um, metabolism, things of that sort. So magnesium is vital to our health. So definitely want to, and then we can get it in foods. You know, of course we can get um, intake from food, but the food is so, um, it's lacking in nutrition. Therefore we have to use supplements to uh, get what we need in other ways. Um, you can get it in spinach, pumpkin seeds, black, is it black berry? Black beans, black beans. Um, avocados, and I know some nuts. I think it's almonds you can get it from. But again, uh, it's not nearly enough because majority of, the, of us are deficient. So start with that. Um, so the Vodka Skin Cleaning Solution only has a few ingredients, um, but it's very, very powerful. The other thing that I use is my MSM powder. Um, again, this is from Earthshift Products. Um, so MSM powder is, um, an, or this one is an organic sulfur. It is um, an anti-inflammatory. It helps with um, your flexibility, enhances your flexibility. It supports your immune system. It helps your hair, skin, and nails to um, be better. It helps your energy levels to increase. Um, the important thing though is, again, it needs to be organic. You need to know where it's coming from. Um, and then by adding it to um, your drinks, your anti-inflammatory drinks, and your this, and for this in this case, your 
cleaning solution, then working together with the magnesium and the other products, it's amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, the other thing, this right here, living silica concentrate. Um, oops. This is uh, considered cell food because what it does is it um, repairs our cells. So as we get older, you know, our cells begin to break down um, and then they're replaced with new cells. Well, if you don't feed the new cells that are coming in that are being regenerated with the food that is required to have healthy cells, then you'll regenerate um, unhealthy cells. So living silica, Basically, it um, helps with, sorry, I was getting text. It helps with um, your joints, um, your hair production, collagen production, um, teeth, cartilage, bones, um, and also the collagen with the skin. So this is something that is used, I'm almost out, uh, on a regular basis. So the other ingredient I use is fossil shell flour. Um, it is also known as diatomaceous earth. Yes, uh, fossil shell flour is, um, when you touch it, it's very, very fine. So you, you, you would not think that it does what it does based on the way that it feels. Um, but once it's in the mixture, and on your skin, in the mixture, it acts like a pumice stone would act on your, the heels of your feet or on your skin. So it scrapes and gets all of those old layers of skin off. Um, what it really is, is um, this naturally formed mineral that comes from algae. <laughs> Fresh water, single celled algae. And then, um, it's formed to this powder. Isn't that something? Okay, the other thing I use that's used in this is um, Himalayan salt, pink Himalayan salt. So that's the cleanest salt that you can find. It's found deep underground, um, so it's unpolluted. Um, and also um, sodium bicarbonate, which is AKA baking soda. Um, I've also learned that people often say you want to you want to get the kind that has no aluminum in it. Um, from my research, um, I haven't found any baking soda that has aluminum in it. Um, however, that does not mean that there is not some out there. So you just want to be cautious when you are. Um, I did not get any from Earthshift. Um, they do have it, but I I I just purchased them over the counter and did my research to find out if that particular one had aluminum in it. Um, however, um, the baking soda has a pH buffer in it and that is an electrolyte replenisher. So that's why you wanna add that, it replenishes your electrolyte. And it also, it have, it's an alkaline, it, it makes your body alkaline. The last, I think that's the last thing that I put in there. So it's a silica, Himalayan salt, magnesium, the um, baking soda, the MSM, and the fossil shell flour. Those are the simple ingredients that you add to vodka. So if you put vodka on your skin without these things, it really is a poison. And so um, by adding these minerals to this vodka, then it turns the vodka into a cleaning solution. It's no longer poisonous. So the point of this whole thing is to, in fact, clean your skin. It takes off the old layers, the old layers of dead skin. It opens your pores um, and it removes skin fungus. Now, whether you know it or not, all of our skin has fungus on it. When you see breakouts, when you see pimples, when you see little itchy spots on your skin, patches, that, that's a fungus. And so by keeping the surface of your skin. And also the insides, when you're cleaning your insides out, it also shows, you know, first, well, last on your skin, topically. And so by cleaning your skin, then you will remove all of those funguses off the skin. So these things are living material. 
you're adding living material, which makes this a cleaning elixir, a special cleaning elixir. Um, in the video to come, once I add all the ingredients in, you will notice that they're white. They're white for a reason. Um, number one, because they're unpolluted. And number two, because when you um, clean your skin, um, you want to be able to see the dirt that's lifted off your skin. So the product being um, white will not pollute the water or change the color of the water, uh, of, the, uh, of the solution. And so you're able to see the dirt coming off. The final step, uh, very, very important step, would be relubrication of your skin. So of course, when you're done cleaning your skin with this product, it will be dry. Um, and so it's very important that you um, relubricate your skin. Um, Kassar uses three things, but I only have two, so I use those two. He uses cacao butter. I don't have that. But I do have coconut oil, so I get the um, unrefined, uh, cold-pressed coconut oil, and I lubricate my skin really good after using it, and then I...